Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we are playing Moon Dance by Van Morrison on a C harmonica. But before we get on with that, if you want to support my channel, please click like on this video and also subscribe. If you click the little bell, then you'll be the first to see all of my new videos. So, Moon Dance, it's something I've been meaning to teach for a long time and I've finally got around to tabbing it out and really happy to be teaching you. We're using a C harmonica, but technically I'm using a low C harmonica. So that's an octave below a normal C harmonica and I recommend you use that if you've got one just because it tends to sit quite high on the harmonica. The the chorus goes up to hold 10. So if you can um, get hold of a low C, then it just sounds that little bit nicer. But you can play along with your normal C, don't worry if you don't have one. If you do want to buy a, a low C, I put a link to the recommended one in the uh, description. Anyway, so let's get on with the tab. I've got um, a verse, the verse is kind of it's almost like a double verse, it's very long, and then the chorus as well. Um, but we'll just take it line by line and I'll explain anything that I think is important as we go. Okay, so uh, line one. Well, well it's a marvellous night for a moon dance. Okay, so we've got five blow, six draw, seven draw, seven blow, seven draw, six draw, seven draw, six draw, six blow, six draw, five blow. Okay. There's going to be a lot of moving around kind of uh, five blow to six draw, seven draw to six blow. So you want to get really comfortable in that middle area of the harmonica switching between blow and draw. So take each line nice and slowly. I'm going to have to rush through them because there's so much to get through in this video, but do take your time. Uh, and with the stars up above in your eyes, so... So we've got six draw, seven draw, seven blow, seven draw, six draw, seven draw, six draw, six blow, six draw. Once you've got those first two lines separately, you want to practice them together. Okay, and then the next two lines are basically the same as the first. I'm just trying to see if there's any notes uh, slightly different, but we've got the six draw. Yeah, basically we don't have the first note, the five blow. So we've got six draw, seven draw, seven blow, seven draw, six draw, seven draw, six draw, six blow, six draw, five blow. So just the first note because you've got, well, it's a marvelous. We don't have that for the third line, it just goes, a fantabulous, not well a fantab, you know, because um, there isn't time to do that from, from the line previously. Uh, and then the fourth line, neath the cover of October Skies, is um, the same as line two. So just having a look at the tab, it's written very small. I don't know, I didn't put it closer to me so I could read it. And, but I think yeah, it's basically exactly the same. So those first four lines are kind of two sets of, of two lines. Um, and then line five, and all the leaves on the trees falling, is like the first line, and we've got the five blow again. Um, so uh, yeah, five blow, six draw, seven draw, seven blow, seven draw, six draw, seven draw, six draw, seven draw, six draw six draw, five blow, I think. Um, so. Yeah, so that's the only difference. Right near the end of uh, that line, trees 
um, are falling, we've got seven draw, six draw, six draw, five blow. <laughs> Trees are falling instead of um, da -da 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 so just slightly different. Now you can see the tab um, anyway, so you can follow that. Uh, and then to the sound of the breezes that blow. Again, it's just like lines two and four. Um, uh, where am I? And then, uh, and I'm trying to please to the calling. Again, is like uh, line three. Don't worry, it is going to change in a minute. Of your heart um, strings that play soft and low. Again, it's like line two and four. Um, so basically, it's back and forth between those two lines up to this point. It's going to change any second now. Um, but you do want to pay attention to those individual lines where there's slightly different bit, like, like a, in falling. Um, if you were to play the exact same thing again and again, it would be fine. But let's imagine you were playing this as an instrumental performance. You're going to want little variations to keep it interesting. So that would be things like that line with falling, but also your own little changes to the melody. Drop a note here, add a note there to keep it interesting. Anyway, at this point, um, it does change. So we've got, and all the night's magic. Um, didn't really know I was going to sing that. I don't know why I did that. Um, okay, so we've got six draw, seven draw, seven blow, and then we jump up to nine draw. This is the point in the song where it starts to get really high, and that's where this low harmonica comes into its own, because up until this point, if you're on a normal C, it'll sound fine, but you'll notice for up at hole nine and in the chorus at hole ten, it's really quite high. So at nine, nine draw, nine blow, nine draw, eight blow, and then six draw, seven draw, seven blow, eight draw, seven blow, eight draw, eight blow. Okay, that's a tricky line, jumping up there and getting those high notes. I have a video on playing high notes. Um, have a look, you know, on my YouTube channel if you want to learn about playing those notes right because a lot of you will be struggling, I think, with those higher notes. That's a really common thing that happens, um, especially for beginners. So check out my lesson on playing those high notes. Um, and then we've got, uh, where am I? <laughs> um, And all the soft moonlight. So we've got six draw three times, nine draw, nine blow, nine draw, eight blow, six draw. If you want to slide up from that six to that nine, that's fine. It can sound quite nice. That kind of sliding sound um, as you move up, glissando or a rip, sometimes you'll, call, you'll hear it called. Um, yep, yeah, feel free to do that. And then one more line before the chorus. Seems to shine in your blush. So we've got seven draw, seven blow, eight draw, seven blow, eight draw, eight blow. Okay, and that leads us to the chorus. We're going to be up at hole 10 for this. This is actually a 12 hole um, low C harmonica. So it's not actually the highest note on my harmonica, so there's kind of an extra two there. Um, this is great for those uh, Sunny Boy. Sorry, getting distracted. Uh, okay, so uh, can, can I just have one more moon dance with you, my love? Um, so we've got 
Huh? No, we haven't. <laughs> See, I can't even find my place on this thing. <laughs> so high. I mean, you imagine... Imagine that an octave up, like on your normal C. So the chorus is basically to the same line twice. I'm gonna talk about one, one kind of change you might want to make. So uh, I'll just give you the tab to begin with. So um, nine, uh, 10 draw, sorry, 9 blow, 8 blow, 10 draw, 8 blow, 7 blow, 8 draw, 7 blow, 8 blow, 7 blow, 8 draw, 7 blow, 8 blow, 7 blow, 8 draw, 7 blow, 6 draw, 6 draw. So lots of notes. Okay, now that bit in the middle, those notes, I, I took quite a while listening to the, the original, the Van Morrison uh, version, and I think they're the notes that he's singing, because he kind of b b like bends the notes, blends those notes. Can, can I just have one more moon dance? It's kind of like that. One more moon dance. But one, it works better, um, I think, with a voice than a harmonica. Two, it's Van Morrison, man, he's awesome. So it's difficult to get that to sound smooth. Um, you might want to cut some of those notes. So. Something like that. So instead of I'm going, I'm just going. So instead of seven blow, instead of eight blow, seven blow, eight draw, seven blow, I'm just going, I'm just going eight blow, eight draw, seven blow, eight draw. So And that makes it less da 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 because the harmonica is naturally going to be more staccato. It's going to be choppy, choppy, choppy instead of which you could do with your voice. So um, that's just the way it is. So you might want to simplify that. Also makes it a bit easier to play. But I've put the full tab. I've tried to do it as true to his vocals as possible, and I've kind of if if one word that's normally one syllable is more than one note. I've tried to make that obvious in the tab. Sorry for rambling, I'm just trying to explain anything that might not make sense and, uh, you know, kind of preempt any questions you might have about it. Um, but that's the chorus, just that line twice. Um, you really want to take your time with especially those high notes, but do consider getting yourself a low C harmonica. As I say, I've put a link in the description to one that I recommend. Um, if you do want to get hold of that. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on with this. I'd love to hear your opinions of it. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you click like and subscribe to my channel to uh, um, get free harmonica lessons every week. If you click the little bell, then you'll be first to hear about them. Do uh, tell me in the comments any songs that you'd like to hear. I'd love to hear kind of what you're learning at the minute and how you're getting on. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. Um, I'll be back very soon with another lesson. Until then, enjoy your practice. I'll see you soon. Cheers.